under kay Mamiya. It's a great, great honor and a pleasure to be here in your presence. Sino po sa inyo magutom na? Pakita sa mga kamay. May maganda akong balita sa inyo. Bago kayong labas, kung lumabas, huwag niyo masyadong iisipin yan. Dilipas din yan, Mamiya. Well, anyway, I don't want to take much of your time. My name is Chinkitan, just like uh, uh, Big Daddy Jake uh, made mention a while ago. Uh, I'm an author right now. I'm the author of two books, actually. Uh, three books. First book I wrote was Till Death Do Us Part. Second book that I wrote was For Rich and For Poor. I'm happy to announce to you I was so excited. I just received a letter from Malacanang Palace. Actually, when I received the letter from Malac Malacanang Palace, ang unang tanong ko, bakit? Nagbabayad naman ako ng taxa. <laughs> And then when I opened the letter, it was a letter that came from no other than the Philippine President, the Pinoy, Noy Noy Aquino. I gave him a book of Till Death Was Part, and I was surprised that he read through it, and then he gave a short commendation about the first book. So I'm really so proud and given an honor uh, to really write books, to inspire people. Whether we like it or not, money is very important in a person's life. Would you all agree? Hindi naman ligit sa ating kaalaman na maraming tao may utang. Tama o mali? Yeah. Sino sa atin na may mga utang dito? Pagkita sa mga kamay at aminin. Sino mang nananalangin na sana mawala na utang nyo? Pagkita sa mga kamay. At sino naman sa inyo nananalangin na sana mawala na yung utangan nyo? Pagkita sa mga kamay. That's the easiest way to get out of debt. That's the reason why I'm here to teach about success. You have heard so many uh, great success stories from Richard Poon, from Big Daddy J, from Miss Miriam Kiambao. Right now, allow me to encapsulate probably and put some meat and probably put some dress on what they're talking about. I have never talked to anyone who doesn't want to become successful in life. Yes or no? Lahat ng tao, wala pang tao gusto hindi maging matagumpay. Hindi ko niya na gusto mo maging successful. Ayaw ko, ano pakialam mo? Wala ganun, wala gusto na pero ganun. So it's very important that we need to understand the right, uh, what do you call this, the right picture of success. Because if you do not know what you're looking for in life, chances are you won't find it. Agree? Some people say success is about just like being Bill Gates. Do you know Bill Gates? He's my, he's my uncle. In my dreams. Bill Gates is successful because he's a billionaire, diba? Or another person would say, a person successful has power just like Mr. Noy Noy Aquino, diba? Si President Noy Noy, from, raised from a humble, ano, parang servant to, to become powerful. I mean, say he's a successful person. Or if not, some people say, becoming successful is just becoming just like Piolo Pascual. Okay? So, sino sa inyo gusto maging kamukha ni Piolo Pascual? Mahal po magpa-plastic surgery. Unfortunately, majority of these people or some people have been looking at success at the wrong places. Just like what Miriam mentioned a while ago, she sought, tried to sought success in relationship, in power, in fame, in material possession. And then Richard Poon want to prove that their parents are wrong. They're trying to find success in the wrong places. Allow me first to present the wrong picture of success in order for us to appreciate the right picture of, of success. Some people say, Paano mas masabi na isang tao ay isang matagumpay na tao pag siya ay may pera? Tama mali. Pag mayaman siya, money or what we call as wealth is a picture of success. If I can only earn this much or if I can only have this property, if I, I can only drive this type of a car, I will be already considered successful. Allow me to present to you some people who have been done, been there and done that but still they don't consider them as successful. Have you ever heard this quote? Experience is the best teacher, yes or no? I beg to disagree. Probably I would believe in that 90%, but I would leave 10% to this. Learning from other people's mistakes and experiences are the best teacher. You cannot commit all the mistakes in your life. Ika nga, wag kang swapang. Mag-share ka naman ng mga mistakes. Some famous people who became successful and became rich, Charles Wald, the president of a large steel company, he died broke with nothing. Richard Whitney, president of New York Stock Exchange, died after he was released from Sing Sing prison because of fraud. Albert Fall fell. <laughs> Member of the United President, U.S. President Cabinet, was pardoned for prison after he could be allowed to die at home because of old age. Jess Livermore, known as the greatest bear in the Wall Street, one of the most powerful persons during the time of New York in the Wall Street, committed suicide. All of these people had so much money 
but still, they never have enough of money. Kaya huwag po tayo magpapalim lang na sinasabi na pag ako yumaman na ako, dumami ng pera ko, magiging masaya buhay ko, whether we like it or not, all of us inside this room, including myself, we have greed in our lives. Amen? Alam niyo yung greed? Di ba? Pagka ikaw ay taga, ano, ang tawag niyang greed. Di ba? Iba yung greed at saka iba yung greed. Okay? When you have greed in your life, you will never have enough of money. It reminded me of a story of a poor farmer who served his master faithfully for over 30 years. And his master is about to die and expire. Nung malapit na mamatay, eh walang talapagmana. So pumili siya sa mga kanyang mag- mga magsasaka at pinili niya si Jose, yung pinaka-faithful. I mean, Jose, I have a good news for you. I want to give you a piece of my properties. Meet me at 6 o'clock in the morning. Alas 6 ng umaga, nandun na siya. So excited. Pagdating niya alas 6 ng umaga, boss, ano gagawin ko? Nakikita mo mo lang, ano pa yun na yan. As far as your eye can see, these are my property. All you need to do is just get the flag. Kunin mo yung bandila niya, maglakad ka, ilagay mo, yan ang marker mo, bumalik ka dito ng alas 5, pirmahin mo itong kontrata, pagpapatunay na ito ay iyon na. Okay. Paano niya makukuha yung lupa? Una, kukunin lang niya yung ano? Tapos maglalakad lang siya, tapos babalik siya, pipirmahan niya yung kontrata. Simple. Nung alas 6 na, sabi ng boss, Lakad na, Jose. Question. Si Jose ba naglakad? Ano ginawa ni Jose? Tumakbo. Tama ka. Si Jose po ay tumakbo ng pagkabilis-bilis. Alas 6 ng umaga hanggang alas 2 ng hapon, tumatakbong pa rin abilis. Kanyang akalimutan, kailangan niya abalik na alas 5 para apirma a kontrata. Nung kanya ala-ala, abalik, atakbo, abilis, abuelta. Ngunit, subalit, Natapwat, bago aabot a finish line, aking matay. <laughs> no, aking matay, akalimutan dahil nga anong nangyari, ang matay. Question, did he receive any piece of property? Yes or no? Yes, he did. He received 2 by 2 or 4 by 4 just enough to bury himself. <laughs> Alam niyo ba, natatawa tayo, hello! We laugh at this type of people. Do you know, Jose sometimes reflect and represent who we are. Sometimes we work so hard, we climb up the corporate ladder of success. Then we, when we reach the corporate ladder of success, we realize the corporate ladder of success is facing the wrong wall. My heart bleeds whenever I see an OFW leaves our country to support their family. I met a lot of people who works in Makati, imagine mo, who lives as far as Santa, as Santa Rosa, Laguna. 5 o'clock pa na umaga, gising na po yan. Imagine mo, di ba? Parang beat yung rush hour traffic. Pupunta sila sa kwarto ng anak nila, makikita niya anak nila na ano? Tulog. Uuwi yan. Hindi pa nila alas 6, rush hour. Magpapagabi yan, alas 9, alas 6. Pagpasok sa kwarto nila ang anak nila, makikita nila anak nila na ano? Imagine mo, lumalaki anak nila na ano? Ang laki na anak nila nangyari sa'yo? Lalo na kung ikaw ay tagal sa Paranaque, you are going to pass through South Super Suffer Highway. <laughs> Believe me, it's a suffering when you go through the traffic. Nung minsan, bumili ako ng tuta sa sobrang traffic pag uwi, naging aso na. <laughs> Again, let me go back. If you want to pursue money and wealth as your success, let me tell you, you're gonna face a dead end. Some people say it's power. Everybody say power. power. If I can only run for public office, if I can only be the president of our company, if I can only be the president of our school organization, if I can be on media, print, and radio, makikilala ko, I will have power. Let me tell you this. If you want to have power, if you are not ready for the power, the power will take control of you rather than you taking control of power. Would you all agree? Yes. Are you familiar with the... A movie called Lord of the Rings. Yes. Di ba? <laughs> How many people attempted with a good heart once they touched the ring? What happened? What happened? You know what power? Power corrupts people. Even you have the best of intention but you don't have the right character. Once you are in position already, Power should be used for the benefit of the majority, but not for the enrichment of the minority. But some people have a wrong view again of success. Success is power. Abraham Lincoln once said, Nearly all men can stand adversity and trials and challenges, but if you want to test a man's character, you give him power. 
Let's talk about people who became powerful but yet ended up with nothing. Adolf Hitler, was he powerful? Yes or no? Yes. What happened to him? One of the most powerful men during the Second World War died because of a gunshot wound on his head because he committed suicide. Another man with the power, the most powerful man in Iraq, the terror of the Middle East during his time, no other than Saddam Hussein. What happened to him? He died because of hanging. Another man who just recently was ano, Iba? Si Osama Bin Laden. May narinig kong reporter, sinabi, Obama killed Osama. Di ba? Parang baliktad. Ha? O Osama ko yung Obama. So power again. Let us not be deceived. Some other people say, if not money, power, some people say it's achievement. If I can only reach this achievement, ika nga ito yung tinatawag natin, arrival syndrome. If I can only attain this position, if I can only accomplish the number one slot in my company, ako yung magiging top income earner sa real estate, sa insurance. Then if I can only attain the relationship with this person, I will be very, very happy. To the point, some people, listen, some people will do whatever it takes to reach that achievement. Kahit na masagasaan na ibang tao lang po kailang. Simply achieving goals, let me tell you the truth, ladies and gentlemen, cannot really attain one success. Let's ask people have been there and done that again. You know one of my best friends? Michael Jordan. <laughs> Michael Jordan became one of the greatest what? Basketball player. Has he achieved success? Yes or no? Nung inaabot niya yung tagatong ng tukumpay, ano ginawa niya? Wala nang thrill. Ano ginawa niya? Nag-retire. Ano ginawa? Went to another field, nag-baseball, and tried to find again. Sana ako yung naman pinakama best spot baseball player. Let me tell you, if he really indeed become a baseball player, best base baseball player, siguro next, ano magagawin niya? Mag-golf you. Pagkatapos na-achieve na naman yan, move on. Why? If you try to look for fulfillment and success on achievement, let me tell you this again, you're going to face again the dead end. Now, again, what are the three things we just talked about? Number one is what? Money. Number two is what? Power. And number three is what? Achievement. Yun yung kineto lahat na kanila ni Richard, Big Daddy Jake, at ni Miriam. Huwag na natin ulitin yung pagkakamali nila. Tonight, to end this session, allow me to present to you the process of how we can identify true success. If you have paper, ball pen, you want to take down notes, this is the best time for you to do it. There are three things. I'll enumerate it first and I'll explain it one by one. Number one, you have to know your purpose. Everybody say, know your purpose. Know your purpose. Number two, you have to maximize your purpose. Everybody please say, maximize your purpose. Maximize your purpose. Number three, you have to give away your purpose. Okay, again, everybody say, give away your purpose. Give away your purpose. Know your purpose, maximize your purpose, and give away your purpose. What do you mean by know your purpose, Chinky? Knowing your purpose is the first step towards success. And this is the good news. Everybody look up here. Everybody look up here, please. Ito yung magandang balita. Do you want to have a good news tonight? Yes or no? Yes. Everyone inside this room have a purpose. Yes. Let me tell you this. No one is an accident inside this room. I don't know where you came from, who your parents may be, what's your background. Probably you came from a broken family. Probably you have, your past was really, really strange. You have a probably verbal, uh, you were verbally abused when you were young. You were molested when you were young. Let me tell you this. Because of those bad experiences in your life, it made you believe that you have no purpose in your life. It made you believe that you are, you feel nothing. It made you believe that you are useless. Let me tell you this truth. You cannot change your past, right? Your past hurt, your past mistakes, your past experiences. But I can assure you that you can change your future by making the right decision today. Agree? Yes. Never ever think, who would listen to me? I am a nobody. I am a nobody. Diba? Ayun po ganun yan. Mag-delay. Two 
kasi nawala impact. I am a nobody. Let me tell you this. If you think that way, sabi mo sa katabi mo, sabi mo sa katabi mo, if you think that way, tell them, you must disagree. Okay. Let me tell you this. Why should I say that you are a somebody? Look up here. Do you believe in God? Yes. Is God perfect? Yes. Is God perfect? Yes. Does He create a mistake? So if God doesn't create a mistake, you are not a nobody, but you are a somebody. Let me tell you this. You have a purpose. You are not an accident. The moment you are born, you are already a winner. I'll prove it to you. Out of millions of sperm cells na lumabas sa tatay mo, ikaw nga lumabas. Ilang million na tinalo mo, panalo ka na sa buhay, tama? Tapos sasabihin mo, wala akong future. Hello? Nagsasell pity party ka? Gumawa naman ako. May mga iba talaga eh. Masyado na awas sarili. Diba? Gumawa naman ako. Wala akong sasakyan. Buti pa sila. May sasakyan ako. Nagko-commute. Nandidepress ka dahil nagko-commute ka. Kung nandidepress ka dahil wala kang sasakyan, gusto kita kausapin. Ano ba bakit? Milyon-milyon Pilipino ang nagpo-commute araw-araw. Marami kayong depressed. Hindi ka nag-iisa. <laughs> Naiingit ka sa mga tao na isasakyan. Hindi mo naiintindihan kung ano hinihingi mo. Maraming tao dyan, isasakyan. Ang tanong ko, bayad ba? <laughs> Buwan-buwan, hindi po pawis na lumalabas. Dugo! <laughs> Nag-iisip ko paano magbahay ng kanilang mati amortization. Tama o mali? Ah. Hindi na yun. Grabe ka. Hindi mo naunawa kung ano yung hingi mo. Di ba? Pag ikaw may sasakyan, chances are ikaw ang driver. Tama o mali? Ah. Ako may sasakyan, ako ang driver. Hindi mo ba alam na mas mapalag ka kung ikaw ang nagkakommute? Bakit? Dahil araw-araw pwede kang magpalit ng driver. Ah. At kung wala ka po sa mga pwede mo kasi gawag pa! Kung ikaw, nagda-drive ka, kung masama ang loob mo, pwede mo ba sigaw ang sarili mo? Hindi! Nadidepress ka? Now, let me ask you this question. Do you believe that you are somebody? Yes or no? Yes! Eh, kung may ka, may purpose. Eh, upuan ka, may purpose. Itong ano nga, pojo, may purpose. Eh, gamit ka, may purpose. Paano pa kaya tayo? Let me tell you this truth. Every single day, we talk to ourselves more often rather than you talking to other people. The moment you wake up, tutut brush ba ako kain mo na? Ano sa kung kaya? Pula, itim o pink? Lalaki ka naman. Ito lang ah. Be careful what you feed your mind every single day. Because what I learned in life was, is this. What you feed in your mind becomes stronger and what you starve in your mind becomes what? Weaker. If you feed your mind every day, Nako, ganito talaga ako nagbuhay. Ganito ako mamamatay. <laughs> Wala talaga nagmamahal sa akin. Please lang, please. Don't feed yourself with negative thoughts. It will not help you. And one thing I learned in life is this. In the story of Miriam, this really perfectly uh, is a best illustration. Everybody listen. Listen, don't miss this. What you believe in life becomes the truth. If you believe in a lie, the lie becomes the truth. Some people will say this. I am an illegitimate, illegit, ano, illegitimate child. Mahirap talaga mag-English. I'm an illegitimate child. Diba? Anak ako sa labas. Or you can choose to say, I am a chosen son and daughter of God. Or probably you can say, I am an accident. Accident lang ako. Ayaw nga ako na mag-ulang. Iniwan nga ako. Or you can say, what? 
I have a destiny and a purpose in life. Or probably you can say, I am a nobody. Or you can also say that I am a somebody. Before I was born, because God already formed me in the womb of my mom, even He would know the number of hairs in, on your what? On your head. Some people lang are gifted with more. Some people are gifted with less. <laughs> so right now, to end my first point, do you believe that you have a purpose in life? Yes or no? Yes. If you believe you have a purpose in life, can I request everybody to please stand up? Everybody, please stand up. I want you to make this declaration. Before you stand up, please look at your side. Look at the right, left, at your back. Just in case you do something, you know who got it. Okay, let's declare this. One, two, three. I have a purpose in life. I have a choice in life. I choose to become a winner rather than a loser. I choose greatness rather than smallness. I choose prosperity rather than poverty. Do you believe that? Yes. Do you believe that? Yes. If you believe that, why don't you give yourself a lot of applause? Come on. Please take your seat. <coughs> Number one, again, knowing your purpose is your what? Your first step towards success. What does knowing your purpose gives you. Don't miss this. Listen. Knowing your purpose, what will it do? What will it give you and me? If you know your purpose, it will give you your direction in life. Everybody say direction. Direction. Mahirap pumunta sa isang lugar na hindi mo lang kung saan ka patutungo. Tama ba mali? First step. You want to become successful? Yes or no? Yes! Know your purpose. Oh, ba't ka galit? Nagpapaliwan ka galit. <laughs> Walang ba talaga yan pag libre seminar? May karapatan ka na magalit. Knowing your purpose will give you what? Direction. Number two. Okay, you gotta know your purpose in life in order for you to know where you are. In order for you to know where you are what? Heading. After you have discovered your purpose, you, are now, have, you have now a clear direction in life. Now it is time for us to use this purpose and then put it on the next step, on the next level. Ano nagagawin natin? The next level is you have to maximize your purpose. Everybody say maximize. maximize. What is the difference between a successful person and a person of mediocrity? A person of mediocrity will say, this is what might I have been. Sana, kung ginawa ko ito dati, eh di ngayon, ganun na ako. Sana, kung ginawa ko, kung nag-aral ako mabuti, eh di, ganun na ako. Sana, nung tinanggap ko itong opportunity, dapat ganito. Nabubuhay sila sa, sana. But a person of success will say, This is what I have done in the past, and this is what I have become. Agree? All of us inside this room, we are have a choice. A choice to become successful. A choice to become what? Unsuccessful. A choice to become a winner. A choice to become a loser. Because success is a choice. It's not by chance. 20 or 30 years from now, if we see each other on the road, diba? And you see me begging out in the street. Ums. Ums. Chinggihi ko mas chinggitan. Ikaw ba yung inspiration na speaker na auto? Ba't ka nangyay? Eh paano? After nung event ko sa ano, wala nang kumuha sa akin. Alam mo, dahil yung mga kamag-anak ko, silang may kasalanan. Mga magulang ko, hindi ako pinamanahan. Yung mga churchmate ko, hindi ako tinulungan. Let me tell you this truth. Listen. 20 to 30 years from now, you see me on the streets, begging out on the streets. And if I say all those excuses, tell me this. Chinky, the reason why you are the person that you are today because that's the way you chose to be. Yes, you can be a victim for a certain season, but you cannot be a victim for the rest of your life. Pwede kang masapak, masuntok, mahulda, paminsan-minsan, wag naman araw-araw. 
May mga iba kasi willing victim. Tama, mali. May choice ka eh. Hindi, wala akong choice. Wala. Ah, eh, kung wala kang choice, ibig sabihin ngayon, pagpunta ko na. Pag gising mo sa umaga, nandito kang sumisip siya. Siyo lang tala sa akin dito. Siyo! The reason why you are here tonight because last night you choose to come here. Agree? All of us, we have a choice. <coughs> Again, right now, going back to maximizing your purpose. Do you know that God has given each and every person talent inside this room? Yes or no? Yes. Some people are given talent to write, to speak, to sing, to dance, to make money. Iba-iba lang talent natin. Pero listen, question is this, are you using your talent wisely? If you guys still remember one story in the Bible, in parable of the talents, the boss gave the farmers, diba, certain amount of ano, talents or money. Ang ginawa nun, after a few months, bumalik siya, tapos nanong niya, what happened to the talent I gave you? The other one, yung five, ginawang ten. Yung other one, dumoble. Yung isa naman, tinago. Sinabi, what happened? Because I know you're a cruel ano, master. So I'm so afraid to lose it, so I hid it. Right now, I'm just returning. At least, hindi ko siya nawala, I returned it in full. You know what the master said? You wicked and lazy servant. Ano ginawa niya? He took it from that person and gave it to the person who had more. I do believe, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very good important illustration and there's a great lesson for us to learn. Lahat tayo dito, ibinigyan tayo ng talento ng Diyos. Tama o mali? Ang tanong, anong ginagawa natin sa talento natin? You can never say, please don't ever have that mindset and huwag mo tatanggapin. Hindi, mas mayaman siya sa akin eh. Mas abilidad siya sa akin. Mas magaling siya sa akin eh. Mas may pera siya sa akin eh. Why? Human tendency always tend to look at the things that they do not have rather than things that they do have right now. Yun yung human tendency eh. Ito na, perfect example. Pumunta ka ng sale. Sino sa inyo nakapunta ng sale? Alam niyo yung sale? S-A-L-E? Tanungin yung misis niyo. Maintindihan niyo. Pagpunta ka ng sale, di ba? Kabunto kang dami. Tama o mali? Broken sizes. Pero habang tumitingin ka, namimili ka, hindi ka naman nakatingin sa hawak mo, nakatingin ka sa hawak, nakatabi mo oras sa binitaong mo, akin yan. Tama o mali? May bago ka ng cellphone. Di ba? Yung bago na sales. Yung bago phone. Bigla na rin, lumabas yung iPhone 4 from China. Nakita mo, ang ganda pa na ng picture. Tapos nanggit ka na, ang ganda pa na ng phone ng iPhone 4. Human, human tendency, parating nakatingin sa bagay na wala siya. Agree? If that is always the way you think, let me tell you this, nothing will happen because you are not maximizing your talent. Tsaka na lang, tsaka na lang, sinasabi, ako magiging ano, let's say creative. Tsaka na lang magiging creative pag ako meron nito, pag ako meron nito. Sasabihin ko sa inyo, listen, kung anong meron ka na ngayon, hindi mo mapapalago, pagdating sa marami, wala pa rin mangyayari. Parang sa pera lang yan eh. Tsaka na lang akong magsasave pag lumaki na sweldo ko. Tsaka na akong magsasave pag lumami na ikita-kita ko, pag lumakas ang negosyo ko. Sabihin ko sa inyo, ngayon, sa maliit, hindi ka marunong magsave. Pagdating sa malaki, hindi ka pa rin marunong magsave. You have to maximize whatever you have right now. Alam mo, in terms of maximizing your potential, I'll give you one tip. You want to become successful? Yes or no? Yes. You want to become rich? Yes or no? Yes. You want to make a lot of money? Yes or no? Yes. This is my tip to you tonight. After you know your purpose, di ba? Know your purpose gives you what? Direction. Number two, you have to maximize your... How do you maximize your purpose? You just need to focus to become the best. Everybody say that. Focus to become the best. Dapat yan ang focus mo. Why should you focus to become the best? Who is the best golf player in the world? Who? Who's the best basketball player in the world? Michael Jordan. They are the best. Tama mali. In the process of the, them becoming the best, what happened? Did they go to companies? Michael Jordan, please. Please accept me. I need a job. 
Tiger Woods, please let me play in your tournament. Did they beg? Did they ask for money? Did they ask for opportunity? Yes or no? Ito lang ah. Don't miss this part also. Some of you inside this room, I may tell you and may offend you by saying this. I used to be just like this. I became a jack of all trade, master of what? None. Ang mindset ko ganito, lahat ng pagkakataon sinasaliyan ko, lahat ng pwede pagkakitaan sinasaliyan ko, mindset ko, konti kita dito, konti kita dito, konti kita dito, grupo, laki kita. <laughs> Hindi ko alam, konti lugi dito, konti lugi dito, konti lugi dito, grupo, laki lugi. <laughs> lahat, binibenta ko para kumita lang ng pera. I became a jack of all trades, master of what? None. Until such time I encountered this principle, all I need to do in my life is this, just focus to become the best in my chosen field. Why? What will happen if you become the best? Let's say you are the best cardiologist here in the Philippines. Somebody suffered a heart attack. Who will they call? Ghostbusters? Who will they call? Who will they call? And if they call you, you can name your... No, no, man, you. If you are the best, maximize your potential. If you are the best, you will be in the top of the Google search. And what will happen? Once they call you, you can name now your... Yes. What does maximizing your purpose gives you right now? Maximizing your purpose, point number two, gives you passion to your life. Everybody say passion. Hindi ko naramdaman yun. Passion. Passion. In Tagalog, naglalagablab na pagnanasa. Again, what are the steps towards success? Number one is what? Know your? Number two is what? Know your purpose gives you? Maximizing your purpose no, helps you to determine your what? Your passion, it gives you the reason why you should wake up in the morning. And number three, a lot of people know their purpose. That's the reason why they're very, I know, rich. A lot of people know their purpose. That's the reason why they have power. A lot of people know their purpose. That's the reason why they're famous. A lot of people also become the best in their, what they have in their chosen field. Yes or no? But majority of them, if they don't do step number three, everything that they have in life is meaningless. What's number three? Once you know your purpose, once you maximize your purpose, number three, you have to give away your purpose. The purpose of human life is to serve, to give, to show compassion, to help others. But when we were still young, we were not programmed to think like that. First few words, my children and I, when I was young, learned how to say it's me, mine, and myself. In Tagalog, akin yan. Tama mali. Human nature always think about what? Themselves. And let me tell you this truth. Everybody look up here. The hardest person to please in this world is yourself. A hundred pesos to you. A little late naman to. Maliit yung 100 pesos, di ba? Tama, mali. Ibigay mo yun sa pulubi. Ibigay mo sa pulubi. Ano sabi ng pulubi? 100? At chip ko, ha? 100 lang? <laughs> Pag binigay mo sa pulubi, ano sabi ng pulubi? Wala pang nagbibigay sa akin ng 100 pesos. Tama, mali. Maliit sa'yo, pero bahag sa iba, malaki. Let me tell you this. Life is not about getting, but life is all about what? Giving. There's a quote that says, We make a, a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. If you're not convinced, who among you pray this Lord, the Lord's Prayer? Alam niya the Lord's Prayer? Our Father who art in? Hallowed be? Your kingdom come and your will? Give us today our prayer. Listen. That's a strange prayer. God can teach us to pray this type of prayer. Give me today my daily bread. 
But how come he's teaching us to say, give us today our daily bread? You want to know the secret? Yes or no? Yes, yes or no? Yes. You know why? Because God teaches us when you pray for something, you don't only pray for your personal needs, but you also pray for other people's needs. Your purpose is not only for yourself. Knowing your purpose is great. Maximizing your purpose. Yes, you're successful. You're rich. You're famous. But what do you need to do right now? You have to give away your purpose. Success in life has nothing to do with what you gain and accomplish in life. It is what you do and serve for others. Do you know Warren Buffett? Yes or no? He's a billionaire in the States. He knew his what? Purpose in life. His pur purpose in life is to become a billionaire. How did he maximize his pur purpose? Creating and building businesses. And then how did he give, his, how did he give away his purpose? He, gave, he gives away the money that he makes. He gave billions of dollars away. As a matter of fact, in his last will and testament, he said that he would give 90% of his earning and would only leave 10% to his family members. He will give 90% away. Do you know Mother Teresa? No, she knew her purpose to become a servant of the Lord. She maximized her purpose. How? Going to the poorest of the poor. And then how did she give away her purpose? She gives food to the hungry and hope to the poor. Do you know Mary Pacquiao? Sino ba nanalo kaya sa BA? Ano? Oh, sandali lang. Mami na. Mami na pustahan. He knew his purpose. His purpose to become a what? Boxer. How did he maximize his purpose? Through rigid training. And painful what? Training. 1,000 seats up. How many thousands of push-ups? The hitting of the sticks. And then how did he give away his purpose? When he wins, he gives glory to God. Not only giving glory to God, he gives hope to and pride to our what? Nation. That gives him purpose. Come on, let me tell you. You ask him, di ba may nagsasabi? Di ba parati pag nanalo natin si Mati Pacquiao, pag nanalo na, bilyon na kinikita, tama o mali? Tapos yung sabi niya, ginagawa ko na ito para sa ating mga kapatid. Di ba para sa ban bansang Pilipinas? I'm sure some cynical people will say, hindi totoo yan, pera habol mo. Pero sabihin ko sa inyo, hindi na lang kailangan ng pera. Ang dami na niyang pera. Wala nang meaning sa kanya. Ang meaning sa kanya ngayon is all about what? Accomplishment and titles. To give what? Honor and glory. That cannot be paid by money. Would you agree? Personally, I use this principle and I ask myself, Chikita, what's your purpose? To become an author and a communicator. How did I maximize my purpose? Going all over the nation, I also have a TV uh, segment every Tuesday and Thursday. Huwag niyo kalimutan bukas sa pool sa umaga. Okay, 7.30. Walang tulugan na ito. I have a portion there called Pera Pera Lang. I also have a radio program over at 92.3 FM every Sunday. It's called Cheek Positive. Okay? Yan, di ba? May promotion pa. 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. So, that is what? How do I maximize my, maximize my purpose? And how do I give my purpose away? How do I give my purpose? I share my knowledge to other people and give inspiration and hope to other people. Let me tell you this. I travel to Zone Visayas Mindanao. I average 15 to 20 talks in a month. But you know what gives me really happiness and fulfillment in life? is when a person comes to me and say, told me, Chinky, I read your book. It helped me to become debt free. Before, I don't know how to handle my money. Right now, I know how to handle my money. Right now, I'm debt-free and I have saving. That can give you meaning in life. Would you agree? Yes. Ulitin natin. Rewind. Number one, you have to know your purpose. Because knowing your purpose gives you what? Yes. Number two, you have to what? Maximize your purpose. Because it gives you what? Passion. Number three, you have to what? Give away your purpose. Don't miss this. Why should you give away your purpose? Because giving away your purpose will bring meaning. Everybody say meaning. meaning. It will bring meaning to life. Once you have identified, discovered your purpose, focus is to become the best. Use it to serve others. Use it to serve people. It will bring meaning to life. 
Last person, do you know Jesus Christ? He knew His purpose to be a sacrificial lamb, not to be born on palaces and castles, to be born in a manger. He maximized His purpose for over 33 years of His life in obedience and doing His Father's will. And then, what did He do to give away His purpose? He gave His very own life for the forgiveness of sins and the whole mankind. That brings meaning to His life. Naunawaan ito, mga kapatid. Hindi ka puso, hindi ka pamilya. Eh, hindi na ito. Tonight, when you step out, yan ang tanong mo, pag-uwi mo. What is my? After that, ma I will maximize my? And I will give away my? And it will bring meaning to my life. I close with this. Success is waking up in the morning. Whoever you are, wherever you are, however you are, whatever you feel, it doesn't really matter. If you want to become successful, you just need to bounce back, out, bounce out of your bed. There is something that you love to do in your life. Would you agree? I always challenge people, find something that you love to do in your life so that you need not to work for another day in your life. Success is something that you look forward to every day. You cannot really just sleep over it. Every single night before you go to sleep, you are so excited to wake up every single day because you want to see your office mates. Ganun ba kayo excited? You cannot really wait until such time you go to, to school because you want to learn more. You don't want to wait until tomorrow because you want to operate your business because that is the meaning of what? Success. You cannot contain yourself, but you have so much that you want to give it away. You know what will happen? If you think like that, if you feel like that, and you want to do that, it means to say you have already achieved success. Thank you very much, and God bless you.